Wellington. Day one, take one. Action. So today we've been doing things like making electrical circuits. We've been making electromagnets. Um, also been learning a bit about animation and the skills used to, to actually animate things. And now I've got everybody making animation sets. Well, what, a, what we've been doing today is lots of fun animations with a man called Mark right there. And, uh, Miss, and our teacher, Mrs Walker, over there, is helping groups around. My favourite part today has been maybe working with my group over there, working on this guy called Colin, and he's our actor for the day. My favourite part of the day has been making the circuits. The best bit of the day was um, making a storyboard. I've been learning um, about the animation on the subject of magnetism and electricity. <laughs> The Earth has a magnetic field and it looks a bit like this. Magnets are made when lightning hits iron ore. It makes all the random atoms line up like soldiers, which causes a force. Magnets can also be made by electricity passing through a wire. This makes an electromagnet. This is how to make an electromagnet. it will pick up. They're also made by rubbing a magnet against a piece of iron. This also makes the iron atoms line up like soldiers. Magnetism was discovered in 800 BC by a shepherd called Magnus. I'm a shepherd and I'm just walking through the field. That black rock looks weird. I wonder what it is. It seems to be sticking to my iron staff. I just discovered magnetism. The Chinese discovered that magnetized needles always pointed north. You made compasses to navigate through oceans and deserts. I'm lost in the desert. I'm lost in the sea. I've just discovered a compass. The Chinese use compasses to travel across deserts and oceans. Today, magnets are used for all sorts of things, such as scrapyard cranes. Hello, my name is Colin. Cool. I like my job. Hey boss. I've got paid. 
and robots. At last, my invention is finally complete. The Becoming of Magnet Man. I just want a friend. We're all your magnetic friends. And we'll be sorting devices. Here I come, getting all the trash. Come on. Oh, oh, there's a robot. But I'm broken. Come on. Here's all the trash on the conveyor belt. And it magnets only take the metal things. Magnets are funny things. They attract metal and magnets with the opposite poles and they repel magnets with the same poles. I'm a magnet and this is my north pole. I am also a magnet and this is my north pole. I'm also a magnet and this is my South Pole. I'm still a magnet and this is still my North Pole. Magnets are also used to generate electricity. To make circuit you need a source of electricity like a battery. A battery has electrons in it that get attracted to the opposite particles. I really want to get to minus people. When a battery is connected to a bulb, the electrons run through the wire. The thin wire in the bulb is too hard for the electrons to go down and their struggle is shown as light. The electrons can't jump across a gap like a switch. So we can tell the electrons when to flow. I'm just going to close the switch. We it's closed. Let's go. Let's go. Hurrah, hurrah, here they are. Hey. And that is how a circuit works. Magnets are very sticky. The force of a magnet is as colourful as a unicorn. Magnets are cold, dark corners. Magnet is a Greek word. Magnets are as sticky as a swamp. And magnets are conductive space pylons. Magnets produce a magnetic field. Magnets are a magnetic compass. Magnets are grand horseshoes. Magnets are found underground. As conductive as an alien spaceship gliding into pylons. When two magnets are close, they create pushing or pulling forces on each other. Magnets are a sticky rainbow. And, and magnets are a force for army marching. And magnets are as cold as a frozen palace. 
Magnets are beams from a rocket blast. Magnets are a gloomy dark cave. Magnetism is two sides of a compass. Magnets are a magnetic force field. Magnets are magnetic Bermuda triangles.